Good day, traders. The four-step method to high-performance trading and the free audio program, the seven-step daily routine for high-performance traders, are both free downloads to help you develop the skill set, the mindset, the discipline to master the markets. The link is down below in the box, the description box. They're both free downloads. Let's get started. Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today we're going to be talking about three session setups. Monday, no news Monday. That is a free cash, no news Monday. When I see that, that's an opportunity for looking for simple, easy setups, beginning of the week, new template. And we're going to be looking at some textbook opportunities that presented today for traders in the U.S. session. Let's take a look. Looking at the DJ30, we had a textbook opportunity in terms of uh, trading uh, occurred in a 100 pip box throughout the day. This is an ideal situation when we can see a clearly defined consolidation that occurs over the course of the day and stays within the 100 pip box. This is setting up for a possible, obviously, reversal because we're looking for a three session setup. There's no news on the calendar. And when there's no news on the calendar for the for the Monday, the U.S. session, typically the New York Open is the time that I will be looking for one of these opportunities to present. Once New York opens, that means that we should see a strong convictional trade if indeed that best opportunity presents. So we have a three session setup. We have a peak formation that is made at the close of our Friday after non-farm payrolls Friday. That puts in the high of the day, a peak formation high. And the market today trades down lower in three pushes, putting in a possible low of the day in our Asian session, session one at our double zeros, session one. Session two forms throughout the London session. And just prior to our US window, we are consolidated at the high of the day underneath of Friday's peak formation high. Peak formation high, peak formation low. We talk about this. Consolidation can go up, it can go sideways, it can go down, whatever. But we have a peak formation high, a peak formation low, and we have three levels of rise. We have 50, 50, and once the U.S. session opens, we pop up to our third level of rise for 50. Now, this is all prior to our New York open at 9.30 a.m. New York. Once we break out of the high of the day, Put our universal EMA on the charts, and I'm then now focused on the timing and the levels. We had opportunities prior to the New York Open at 9.30, just at 9.05. Above the, the double zeros, we had opportunities at the New York Open, right at the double zeros. Anywhere in here, as the market has already locked in, our high of the day, we've had three levels of rise for a vertical explosive move. This is a five minute chart on our New York open. So coming back to the setup again, a 100 pip box, we have three sessions, peak formation high, peak formation low, Asia, London, continuing into the US session open, which triggers breakouts, engulfs, and goes sideways underneath the high of the day on top of the third level inside of our EMA for multiple opportunities over the next 15 to 20 minutes to position ourselves for the vertical collapse back through the low of the day. This is the DJ30. Similar opportunity on the S&P, peak formation high made on Friday night after non-farm payrolls. The market broke down through into the lower 100 pip box today during the Asian session before reversing consolidating and proceeding to go higher in London, Asia, peak formation low now, putting in our low of the day prior to the US window, peak formation high, peak formation low, consolidation higher highs and the creeping trend back up to the top of the double zero box inside of our peak formation high from Friday. Again, this is prior to the New York Open. We then can put in our EMA as we head into the 9.30 New York Open, and again, the same scenario occurs. Opportunity to be positioned above 50, above 50, or just as close as possible, depending on trader's comfort level, but understanding that once that high is locked in, I wanna get filled above 
or at best fill as close to the level as possible. The New York Open then proceeds to go vertically down through the low of the day. Remember, no news on the calendar. We have ramped up volume, three levels of rise. We'll just delineate that for traders. We have 50, 50, and 50. Three levels of 50 for a vertical explosive 100 pip move back through the low of the day. No news on the calendar. Three sessions set up, three levels of rise, engulfment, consolidation inside of the peak formation at round major round numbers for a vertical collapse through the low of the day. Same opportunity presented on the end crosses. We had a markets that both broke through the previous day's high on Monday. Uh, peak formation high made in Asia, consolidation, and then proceeding to go higher in the gap time in London for three levels of rise to the top of the 100 pip box. Again, once the US session starts and we've broken the high of the day, I put my universal EMA on and it's all about timing. And now we have our 25 pip box at the top of our double zeros. So remember, top of the box is for selling, bottom of the box, 100 pip box is for buying. We get our fill above 75 at the New York Open for a 50 pip vertical collapse back through the low of the day. Three levels of rise, consolidation, engulfment, timings, levels, our universal entry criteria met, our risk is managed, we have a 50 pip vertical blow off, asymmetrical risk reward back to the low of the day on our pound yen. Same opportunity presented on our euro yen, triggering the previous day's high just prior to the Asian session, putting in a peak formation before dropping down, consolidating, going vertical in London, three levels from the beginning of the day, and you'll notice peak formation made in the US session, peak formation high, peak formation low, the market went higher in Asia. What that tells us is that the high is not yet in place. Level one, level two, level three, the market pumps back up into our peak formation high at the beginning of our US window before breaking down. Second hour begins, they pump it back up into the peak formation, consolidation on top of double zeros. As soon as we've already engulfed the high, universal entry criteria is met. We are filled above the number. So remember, I'm focused on the level. Once I have the thesis that the high of the day is locked in, it's about the levels. Getting filled at the level, 50 pip move back through the low of the day. Three sessions, three levels. Back up into the high of the day, timings, nothing else on the calendar. A vertical move back through the low of the day for 50 pips, no stress, no heat. Gold, similar, we had a market that proceeded to go higher in Asia, so we've broken through into the new 100 pip box. As we come into our US window, the market has traded between 50 and double zeros. The high of the day is made in the gap between London and the US session, and the low of our London session is made at double zero. So again, Asia's gone up and made a high of the day. They've come down in the London window, put a low of the day, low of the session in place before auctioning back up higher and just pushing slightly higher. There's our low of the day. We'll just mark this off again, peak formation low, peak formation high. The market breaks out and goes higher. As soon as we break out and go higher in our first hour, once we're outside and that second hour is about to begin, I will go to a one minute chart on gold because of the volatility that gold gives off, much greater than the other instruments. And our criteria is met at the high of the day. We have a, tri a triple top engulfment at the high, filled at the top above 50. Getting filled above 50 is the object. Multiple fill opportunities to get add additional contracts as this is collapsing for a vertical move back through the low of the London session for a 50 pip vertical move. We get a little consolidation just heading into the New York Open for the blow off. So a second hour opportunity entry after taking out the high of the day, three levels of rise, triple top engulfment, breakdown, consolidation, and New York Open blowing off for the second 25 plus pip move.
So just comparing that to the euro, we have a market that essentially stayed within a 25 pip box the bulk of the day, comparing that to a, a, an instrument that has moved three levels. So again, this, this pair still uh, gave traders a, sh a 25 pip shorting opportunity, but comparing that to a mark that has had a clean three levels of rise or fall, same thing with the Japanese yen. We triggered Friday's high, but we have a market that essentially is traded inside of a 50 pip box. The peak formation low made in the, the Europe London window. They trade back up to the high of the day inside of the Asia peak formation. So again, just a simple formula. Peak formation high, peak formation low. We're into the US session. It pops up. We get our push back up into the high of the day. Traders, if they were looking to short this, had an opportunity to position just above double zeros right at the New York Open. Not quite as a vertical explosive move, but still a 25 pip collapse into the peak formation low in the London session. And just differentiating, comparing the, the, the difference between a mark that has had three distinct levels of rise over the course of the day. This pair still gave traders 25 pips, but obviously had to work for two to three hours to get that as opposed to the index, the DJ30, that blew off a nice 100 pip plus move in virtually under an hour, roughly. So traders, when there's no news on the calendar, three levels, three sessions, this is the easiest, cleanest textbook opportunity that I look for. If I don't see something like this, if you're trading something that doesn't look clean, that isn't well engineered, that doesn't present like something like this and you haven't been able to have a successful trade on the day and you're looking for other things on a Monday this is Monday the day one of the week new template doesn't care about how many other day breakouts we have a new template no news on the calendar if you had a trade that did not look clean and well engineered like this stop trying to trade things that are complicated and start looking for simple low stress three session three level setups that are virtually no stress, no heat, they're over fast, you can manage your risk, they have asymmetrical risk reward, and they show up again and again and again on any market. Keep it simple traders, uh, great start to the week, keep it simple, we have uh, no news tomorrow on Tuesday, we have major red news Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, keep it simple, stick to the highest quality, best setups, keep getting better, and may the markets go with you.